Do you love animals? Would you prefer not to eat an animal while you're in Paris? Well, you're in luck because there actually is vegetarian and vegan food all over the city. By all over the city, I mean more than there used to be. We're gonna go talk to a friend of mine, Amanda, who owns Bone Shaker Donuts, which a lot of people know because it's my go-to donut shop in Paris and has been a recommendation of mine for years. But what a lot of people don't know is it is 100% Vegan. You might have been thinking, wow, yeah, a vegetarian uh, donut, that, that's easy to do. Vegan. Nobody even knows that because she strives really hard to make sure that it tastes just like any other donut, and they are very good. So we're going to go talk to her about what it's like being vegan in Paris and ask her for some of her recommendations for what we should be eating while we're here in the city. Of course, this guy's probably never going to go vegan, but some of us, some of us can try. Let's go. I'm in Bone Shaker Donuts with my friend Amanda, who's been running this place for a very long time now, and I've been recommending Bone Shaker since I first started recommending anything in Paris, like the very first version of my guide, so for like the last five years. It's the only donuts in Paris, as far as I'm concerned. I haven't had any in the last decade that stand up to Bone Shaker, and they're in such a fun neighborhood, a great place to come anyways. Like if you're just looking for food, you should end up here at some point along the way, and if you're looking for a sugar hit, maybe just the smell and taste of home, Bone Shaker is the place to be. Amanda, like, wh why donuts in Paris? I wanted to basically bring a slice of home. When I relocated here permanently, I wanted to do something fun, casual, you know, kind of reminiscent of my childhood. Also, how did you hide the fact that this was vegan? Because I didn't know for years. Well, that was done intentionally. Oh. So we went fully vegan in 2020. So we've been fully vegan now for almost four years, oh, which mm. is awesome. If you have a cook, aspiring cook, or just anybody who wants to try something vegan in your life, would be to grab her book. It just came out. It's available in the States. There is one that's available here in French. If you do want to come and get that, you have to come visit. However, if you want to grab this from basically wherever Amazon delivers, you can get Amanda's book. It's Voila Vegan. What's your favorite recipe in here that you would recommend? People There's try. so many. So I would say the pumpkin cake donuts I adore, especially yeah. good for this time of year. Yeah. Creme brulee. Uh, because creme brulee was my favorite French dessert. Yeah, and you can get it in here. And you can get it in there. Vegan creme brulee. Yeah. What? <laughs> I'll put a link below. And again, I'll, I'll make sure it's an affiliate link so there's at least a little selfish game in here. But go buy her book for someone for Christmas. Be great. If you got a last minute purchase to make, this is the time to do it. Let's go have lunch. Okay, great. What is it about this place that you enjoy so much? Well, just have a look. <laughs> I think it's really leveled up um, plant-based cooking in Paris, without a doubt. You know, it's the first place that I found where you're kind of going down and getting a fully 100% plant-based experience at such a high level. So it's a little treat. That's great. Look at that. Oh, that looks so It's good. so crispy on the outside, too. It's nice, isn't it? The carrots are really sweet, too. Mm. They're also doing a pop-up collaboration with a restaurant that I love the Bao family. Well, it's, there's a bunch of different restaurants with the Bao group, but. The texture of that Bao, that's actually. It's gorgeous. It's way, that's like, that's better than they make in their own restaurant. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a fan, this place is great. I was gonna say that when, I, when I've been in India the last couple times, I think I've said this before, but I was like, man, if, the, if there were options like this, I could definitely see myself going vegetarian. No problem, like there's so much good food. It's harder to do here, so. Highly recommend coming here. Book in advance. I think it's going to be one of those places that's just maybe. Is it hard to get into or? No, I think. But call. I mean, I think it's the same as a lot of small French restaurants. Book in advance. Yeah, definitely book in advance. But there's not like crazy wait list or anything. And then come and enjoy it. I mean, it's going to be. This is this is really genuinely a very good meal, and especially some of these bits. They're like just the the fact that we ugh, just getting some really nice strong flavors is something that I miss so much when living in France. And you can get it here. That. I hope that, I don't know that anything in the rest of the video will live up to this, but we're gonna go and we're gonna try. Except for the donuts. <laughs> Except for the donuts. <laughs> Thanks of course to today's patron producer, Patty McAfee, and all my patrons for making it possible to go out and do all this. You may not realize this, but patrons are the backbone of everything I've been able to do for my entire YouTube career. If you would like to get some extra benefit from everything I'm doing, behind the scenes, sneak peeks, Bonuses, wallpapers, prints, stickers, all kinds of good stuff. Go to patreon.com slash jswanson. It really helps the channel a ton. I cannot express my thanks enough. That's how Cooper can wear such fresh duds. Landon Monkeys, if nothing else, has possibly the coolest name for a bakery that I 
Have I ever heard of a cooler name? Landon Monkeys? I love monkeys. I've always loved monkeys since I was a kid. Anyways, Vegan Bakery, they're all over town, but I'm in the one, or I'm going to the one that's on Rue Amsterdam. None of them seem to be very central, so you're gonna have to go a little bit out of your way to get to these. But it is a nice area to stroll around if you like Osmanian architecture and streets that are named after European capitals. There's actually a train station named Europe here, just for that, because apparently this is the place to be. Everything here is vegan, even the ham. They've got vegan ham. If you'd like to get a sandwich, if you'd like to get something sweet, whether you're looking to eat a full meal or get a, you know, just normal French treat, like this is the traditional go-to, right? But I, I guess if you're vegan, basically croissants are, are, are nothing but butter, so making one of these vegan would be, would be a trick, and I'm actually really excited to try it. It's definitely gonna be a little bit on the denser side, like this is not, I wouldn't describe this necessarily as fluffy, but it's really nice. This is the, one of those great sins that depends on who you, who you ask whether or not you're allowed to do this, but I would definitely enjoy this with some jam, like some strawberry jam or something. It's really nice and actually kind of does taste buttery. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how they did that. I'm impressed. I wouldn't feel like I was missing out if I was eating this. If I was a vegan and I was like, oh man, I wish I could have a buttery croissant. Like, this is gonna do the trick. trying to crack the secret of a vegan croissant here. Uh, in the meantime, they do have three locations. This one is really easy to get to though because if you get out at Liege, the metro, it is literally just across the street from the metro. So super easy to find, hop out at line 13, walk across the street, grab yourself a croissant, go for a wander. Parc Monceau is not even that far away from here. It's, it's, it'd be quite, it'd be a little bit of a walk to the park from here. If it was warm outside, that'd be where I would go to enjoy this for sure. Oh, English muffins. I've never done this before, which is kind of exciting. So it's self-service, so get the vegetables you want, stack them up, which I'm definitely going for some tomato here. Looks like it's a good mix of tomato, so coriander, onion, and, or uh, so, I always forget what we call it, and, uh, it's coriander or, um, so, okay, well, you know, we'll put it on the screen. These guys over here are working a few blocks over, and they're saying they come here for lunch every day because it's light, it's fresh, and it's not like eating a kebab every day, which gets kind of heavy and, and you know fatty. They've been here every day, highly recommended. This is really good. It's the first time I've ever done a build my own pita here, my own falafel in Paris. I'm already off to a good start, just after like one little bite. I don't know how I'm gonna possibly take one bite that... That's so good. This is a neighborhood that I would generally not advise people to go into. It's a super touristy, Rue de la Huchette, and it's got a lot of little tourist shops, kind of like cheesy stuff to eat. The only reason I used to come here like a decade ago was because it had the only Mexican restaurant in town that I was aware of. Otherwise, like, I would avoid this space. I actually write about this in my guide. Like, it's not a place that I would necessarily go. You can go for a wander through for sure, but... Eh. This redeems it a little bit. This is really good. I would come down here for this. If you happen to be like at Notre Dame, somewhere in the area wandering around, you get hungry, check out Mao's. Even if you're not vegan, a vegetarian, like, this is gonna be really good. Came with fries, drink, good price, fast, friendly service, they're really nice. I was actually really excited to see Mao Dumpling Bar on Amanda's list of recommendations because this is a place that I've been and enjoyed before and it comes with both veggie and meat options. She said this is a wonderful place to go if you've got people in your party who need vegan friendly stuff and some people in your party who would like fried chicken. You can get both when you're here and they're both really good. We got the veggie dumplings, which are amazing. We had shiitake mushroom, cabbage, spinach, ciboulette, which is uh, chives, and then uh, it was just, I mean, delicious. We also got the OG pork, which is also very good. The beaten cucumber, spicy, delicious. If you're gonna go for that, it's literally like the cucumber frappe, and it was very tasty. And then after that, popcorn chicken, because honestly, it's great. Came out kind of in rounds. We just worked our way through all of it, enjoyed it. Now we're up and out and on to the next. Unless this is the last one in the video, in which case, it's been a great video, we had a great time. This has been Paris in My Pockets, 100% veg for Paris. You didn't know you could do it. You can do it. All these spots are going into my guide. Thanks to Amanda for sending us out here. Make sure to go check out her book at the link below. If you'd like to get a vegan cookbook, it's gonna look really good on your shelf and impress all your friends, and you're probably gonna enjoy everything you find inside. And if you want all my recommendations, as always, for Paris and your time here, go to parismypocket.com, grab my guide. You won't regret it. It will make for the best trip to Paris possible. See you next time.